Hello, I'm Claire Bowen from the RAB and today I'm on the sunny Crozet in Cannes talking to Simon Blacksland of Blacksland Productions. And Simon has been on the radio during the past few days and he's going to tell us a little bit about the experience. So Simon, first yeah. time in Cannes. First, first time in Cannes. First time as a, as a Cannes juror. Jura. And how, how's the experience been? Have you found it? It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. Kern had this reputation of really just being film and TV. And although the Radio Lions have been going for next year will be its 10th year, this is its 9th, um, I still thought radio was a bit in the shadow. But actually, it's a very, very big deal internationally. Yes. Very, very big deal. Uh, for me, one of the great things was hearing so many commercials from all over the world, um, both in the original language. English translations as well. Yes. I think hearing them in the original language and seeing the English script and just the, the quality of work is is fantastic. It's been great. It's great. And for us in the UK, Cannes is really an opportunity for us to put our heads above the parapet and see what, what is out there and what is the standout work and what the themes. So do you want to comment on any work that struck you as being particularly standout? Yeah, yeah sure. I mean, storytelling seems to mm -hmm. be very big this year. Um, and it's storytelling has worked very well. Um, we've had, we've had a, a lot of things where each different element of the production has come together. And we've had very well written scripts, which have obviously, which are for real products um, and are part of big campaigns and have been multi media, so not ones that have been written just for the same um, or for particularly heartbreaking things. Okay. Uh, so for big, big advertisers like Luke's Day, which is one of the on two other goals. Fantastic. That was fantastic, yeah. But very, very much long form, so good writing, longer spots, uh, probably up to around 60 seconds as opposed to 30, which we do in the UK. And also the performance, they're not spoiled by the performance. Do you think that um, the UK would benefit from doing more long form ads for that respect? I think it's an, yeah, I think it's a <laughs> I think, it's an, I think it's a great opportunity. Um, it's one that I, I think I'm not a media planner, but I think the cost of airtime has often dictated the length of the spot, which is a shame. But I think the effectiveness of the spot um, is, is much more important. And you may have a lower OTH, but you may have a higher impact. Now, particularly, I mean, the one thing that I keep going on about is my real hobby horse, but thinking about the environment. Your commercial's going to be heard. So, if you've got a music based there, it's one side, yeah. uh, 30 seconds long, and then 60 seconds really beautifully written, beautifully performed uh, narrative monologue, and then a music and the other side, and then a music program. Yours is going to stand out. Um, is there any standout work from the UK um, that's that struck you over the past few days? There's been very little from the UK. Uh, I'm as guilty of this as anyone. Um, we don't seem to enter a great deal into it. Um, so they, there's a very low base to start from, to choose from. We've had um, two really good spots of that. Um, Dove, which, uh, it, I mean, it's quite, it's, some, it's an idea which has been used before, which is an old voice getting younger. I mean, I've done a couple of these where you have a boy becoming a man. They've, they're easy to write, they're very, very difficult to do. Yes. Very difficult to do. But do you think they've pulled it off? They've pulled it off spectacularly. You couldn't, you couldn't hear the joints and it fitted the brand. The yes. idea fitted the brand. Oh, absolutely. And when I, last year, Dov did, did particularly well and actually took home the first gold line at Cannes for, for many years. Um, one thing that always really impresses me with Dove is it's a beauty brand and it's, it's all about a visual, you could argue, but the fact that they've managed to execute it, uh, Camping for Real Beauty, in radio just using sound, I think it's, it's great to credit to the agency. Absolutely, absolutely. No, I couldn't agree more. And, and the fact that they've maintained the standard this year, I mean, having, having a great year last year was excellent, but still to maintain it yes. the year later is, is even more difficult in some respects. Um, it seems to me that there's an opportunity for agencies in the UK to, to do more in the radio category out here. What advice would you give to people working in, agent, in agencies? How would you sort of encourage them to, uh, I'd say, to put more work in? Yeah, I'd say enter, ent I mean obviously don't enter anything if you, if you don't if you're not behind it, if, you, if you're not, if you don't think it's going to win, then it's, it, it is an expensive thing to do to enter a commercial. I think it's 
400 euros or something. It's not cheap. But it's, um, there is an opportunity. The, the number of entries for radio is up on last year. Okay. But there's still a long way to go. We've still seen, our jury is still looked at quite enviously as having fewer <laughs> spots to go through. But I, I, would, I would like to see a lot more from you. I would certainly. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I think we will. Would certainly seek to encourage people to enter more work. Um, the REB have recently relaunched the Aerial Awards, and I've certainly, I've certainly seen that there are great examples of radio yeah. coming, coming out of the UK. But me, yes, it's just a question of making sure that they are seen internationally. So yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, very true. And I think I think the monthly Aerials bearing your budgets is such a great thing to bring it back. It's been great for creativity and it's a great target for people to aim for. And again, it's they're all real efforts. They're not yes. just produced just just for the awards. Absolutely, yes. being important. on air is a, is a criteria of entry. Yeah, so yeah absolutely. Yeah. Um, and this isn't just a radio question, but do you think there is um, there is a conversation that I've heard around the Palais in the past few days about sort of sham advertising as it just made for awards? Do you see any evidence of that? Not necessarily in radio or beyond. I mean, oh, right. Um, <coughs> beyond, I, I wouldn't know. I'm afraid I haven't seen the word, so I can't comment on it. In radio, it didn't happen. No, we had a we had a few. And one bit of advice I will give is to think very carefully about which category you enter your commercial into, right. or which category is plural, um, because it, it may get a gold in another category than the one you've entered it into. Maybe, maybe one that works quite well but is an excellent bit of script writing. Yeah. So I, I think very carefully about which category. And also, um, more and more entries have case studies films these days, if, it, if it's something that's particular to a particular, particular region or a specific um, project, there, there was a, a very good campaign which was called Radio, Radiometries, uh, which was a hearing test for children, uh, it was, I think in Colombia, and uh, the idea was people couldn't afford to go and have these hearing tests done, so they made this song which had these little tones and said, if you hear this tone, jump up and down and dance. Fantastic use of radio. One great thing this year has been the creative ways radio's been used. Really, really innovative. There's a campaign that's been made just for... Uh, radio station that's been made just for dogs. A radio station <laughs> that's been made just for babies to help them sleep. Okay. Just transmits a certain type of noise. Absolutely. I, th I think um, the channel is evolving all the time with the way that we're consuming radio and audio yeah. in a wider sense. And I definitely think there is... Um, there's an opportunity for agencies to think about using radio in a different way, and it's fantastic to see that it's being done at Cannes. I think we should, we should hope to see more of it come from the UK oh, for that next year. Yeah, Simon, thank you very much for talking thank to you. us. Enjoy the sun.